What's up, guys? I know y'all wonder why I'm up here lip syncing because I can't sing. Um, I'm gonna give y'all a a broke man. <laughs> no, um, a broke budget. Uh, CVS and Walgreens how I put together. Um, let's start with the CVS how because that's where I went first, and I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. Okay, so if y'all don't remember me talking about the um, Oreo cookies that I had bought, um, they had a little particle in it that um, I, you know, crunched on and it was like, this is not a part of a cookie. This is something else. So I spit it out and found a little plastic particle in it. So anyway, I contacted the people, Mondelez or whatever their name is to let them know that okay y'all might need to recall because it might be some more in some other packaging that y'all had i don't know if they did any kind of recalls i haven't heard of anything anyway they were supposed to um after i sent the particle that was in my mouth um taped to a little index card and sent it in a ziploc bag to them they were supposed to investigate to see what the particle was and see what was going on but I guess if they didn't have any more reports, they weren't worried about it because I don't, I don't remember nobody saying that they had a recall anyway. But anyway, they sent me a letter and they apologized and sent me two coupons for $4.99 to get some more product. I was like, I don't know because if I have this issue again, you know, because um, I'm thinking about getting stuff again. I thought I had one incident with it. You know, it take me a while to go back to it. But um, I went ahead and bought some Oreo cookies because my son, he does like taking them in his little lunch bag for work or whatever. So I did go and I got some chocolate chip cookies because they, I didn't know they was like Oreos and chocolate chip, chips Ahoy cookies was like made by the same people or sold by the same people or whatever. But um, anyway, I had two coupons for $4.99 um, value. So I went to CVS because you know they have the the cookies for um two for seven dollars. So at first I was just gonna get one pack, but the value of one pack is more than three ninety nine. So I got a pack of Oreo cookies and a pack of um Chips Ahoy cookies. So and I used those coupons on it. One coupon, the lady said, went through. The other one didn't. So what happened was she gave me, even though she should have gave me like a $4.99, since the coupon was for $4.99, a $4.99 value, but she only gave me an extra buck for $4. And then she didn't hand me the coupon back to see if I could use it elsewhere or another time on a product. So I guess, you know. I guess she said, you know, but it was like I paid 99 cents for a $4 extra book. <laughs> um, anyway, with the coupon that I had, because it was a $4.99 value, but I don't know, that might not make sense to y'all, but <laughs> that's the way I look at it. Um, anyhow, let's begin with the CVS. I also picked this um, Welcome to Care Pass membership um, for nonstop online like for non-stop life um that's you know when you want to check into that make sure you pick up this at the counter this was on the counter and i picked it up as i was you know checking out um because i am gonna probably be getting that to get those benefits because i shop at cvs so much okay i got this little bitty small downy um 34 fluid ounce i want to do the deal at walgreens um because I think it goes from 34 ounces to like maybe the 64, 51 ounces or something. But anyway, this was two that what? Let me see. Let me see what this receipt says. The regular price is $5.59 for this. Y'all know they markup prices be too high. Um, but it was $2.94 and I had a coupon clipped to my account. So um that took it down to 194. 
that's the family size of um, Chips Ahoy. And y'all make sure when you go in the store and buy, purchase these items to check the um, expiration date. Like this one is expiring next month. So you're going to have to go ahead and, and chop on in these because, yeah, they expire next month. So I think... I don't know whether, because I'm kind of seeing it as a pattern as to when I go shopping and they have deals on, like get two packs for five or two packs for six or seven. Um, the expiration, expiration date is real close. So y'all need to start paying attention to that because I, I made a mistake and got something that was like expired before from Walgreens um, or close to the expiration. No, we got something that was expired and we went back. And my, I had my son go back and swap it out, and he still got the expired or close to expired day. And I don't like that, you know. So make sure this one is actually for the Oreos. It expires um in November. But yeah, I think they they mark them down like that or, or do little deals like that to get rid of them so they could get rid of like the ones that expired instead of taking those things off the shelf that are expired or close to expiration date because you know once you bite into them you know that they're either expired or very very close to exp expiration date because it's going to taste like it a lot of times when it comes to stuff like that anyway okay and then my other items and i'm gonna be truthful i don't care if they if it's cbs watching or walgreens watching i'm gonna be truthful about the stuff i buy <laughs> you know I'm just going to say it like T-I-E is like my mama used to say. <laughs> um, okay, so then I found some L.A. Girl eye looks, um, mesmerizing eyeshadow. And I wanted to try that um, just to try to swap up my clothes. I like to try to do most of, most of the time like a smoky eye because I think that's the only thing that looks okay on me. But um, with the browns and darks, you know, the dark browns and light browns and stuff, try to, you know, do it like that. But I, I think I'm going to try this and see how it looks and see how actually the pigment is on it. And I also picked up the Luminous Glow Skin Illuminator um, by LA Girl. By LA Girl, I picked that up and I'm just going to see how that works. Um, I know... When I first started watching a lot of YouTube videos, when I first started like like being really into it and watching wig videos, makeup videos, why is my why is this thing stalling like that? Let me move my phone. It's like a delay in it. Like it's got a delay. I don't like that when it has a delay. But anyway, it's like it's stopping every few seconds recording. I'm on my laptop, y'all, because y'all know I don't feel like setting up that camera thing because it's not the camera that I really need to be doing YouTube videos on. So I'd rather do it on my laptop. But anyway, this is the Luminous Glow. And let me see how much that was. Where did I put my receipts? The Luminous Glow by LA Girl. It was $6.99 regular price. And the eyeshadow was five twenty nine. So, with the cookies, the downy, and the makeup, I gave her. I don't know why she took my um, coupon down to three hundred one when it was a four ninety nine value. But anyway, these people, I don't know. Sometimes I don't. I don't get the. That's why I don't like try to teach teach <laughs> the coupon thing because I don't know why it was a four ninety nine value, but she took it down to three ninety nine for some reason. I mean three oh one for some reason. So it just only took three oh one off of one product, and it's whatever. But anyway, and I got three dollars off of twelve cosmetics for that um, LA girl makeup. Then I had a $2 extra book, and then I also had a $5 extra book. Um, she did a little modifying, because that wasn't actually an extra book. It was a coupon, but it's showing as an extra book that I had. But I had a $5 extra book, 
and a two dollar coupon. So I don't know what kind of maneuvering went on there. Um, but anyway, I ended up my subtotal for all that was nine dollars and twenty one cents. And the first tax was fifty five cents. The second tax was twenty two cents. Why we have two taxes? I don't know. <laughs> um, that's confusing to me also because I I don't know. Anyway, my total was nine ninety eight. So what I'm gonna do is let me go back to my calculator. We'll just do 921 divide five items a dollar and 84 cents per item and I um, ended up getting for the LA girl I ended up getting the six dollar extra book back then I got a 10 off 50 on my next purchase and then 20 percent off contact lenses which I do not wear because I have dry eyes and I wish I could wear contact lenses instead of glasses but I can't uh, because of the Shogun syndrome, they won't let me because it's too dry. And then I have the five dollar, I mean the four dollar extra book that she printed out for me. And I actually didn't know that they could print out extra books themselves, but because I mean, some of these cashiers be lying or managers sometimes they be lying to try to keep from doing stuff because she printed it out. As you can see, she printed one out because my coupon didn't work, and she she said she didn't know why it wasn't working or whatever. I don't know why it wasn't working. But, um, anyhow. So, that was a dollar ninety-four. Did I say ninety-four or eighty-four? <laughs> See how quick I forget? Yeah, the dollar eighty-four per item. Um, which is not bad. And then I got ten dollars. I paid nine dollars and... Total, I paid nine dollars and um, where are you at? Ninety-eight cents, but I got ten dollars that's to start off with for next week. So, um, that's only two cents. <laughs> but and then it says I saved sixty-seven percent, which is eighteen dollars and eighty-four cents on that purchase. It don't kind of feel like it. I was trying to pay less than that. <laughs> um. Out of pocket, but since the um, since the coupon did not come out, she gave me the extra book, so I have that to use anyway. So it's like I still pay out of pocket, but I still have this out of pocket pay on my next purchase. So that is fine with me. Um. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the um. With the CV, I mean the Walgreens. Um, I had to go today to go ahead and pick up my um, my um, super savings book, but because I didn't have one, the one I had had expired, and I hadn't been back since then. My son has been, but he always forget to pick up the book. So um, I'm gonna show you what I got there. Something I don't need, but baby, I have to have me some chocolate every now and then. Okay, so I got a code. Why is the thing continuing to stall on me? Why? Like, what is going on with this? Um, I got a code. These were used to be two, and it keeps stopping on me. This is a stupid computer. <laughs> um, for two dollars, and they didn't. They only had one, so I had to get one for one twenty nine. I think. Then got me some Milky Way. I've been craving Milky Way like crazy lately. So I got me four of these for 79 cents each. And then I got me a Hershey. I got a Hershey. I don't know why my computer keeps um, stalling y'all. So y'all just forgive me for that make mess up uh, whatever flunkiness that's going on right here it's doing some really crazy dumb stuff right now um anyhow and then you know i want to do 
I want to do the Charmin deal because you could buy three of those products and I think get a get some let me see get yeah buy three of them you can get the Tide the Charmin or the Bounty um, I'm probably going to get three of each of those and get the $6 register rewards. But I'm going to have to wait and get that because I got to get my, get a few dollars up. Because, like I said, might have been real tight, really, really tight lately. So, I've been doing what I can. I could have did it before I did the CVS, but I wanted to go ahead and do that because my extra bus was inspiring. So I wanted to go ahead and get that so that way. And then it worked out for my good because I got four extra extra books than I would have had, you know, so it worked out good. So I have $10 to start out with for next week for my haul for CVS if I do a haul. Okay. So the... The candy bars and the soda only cost me 45 cents because I used $5 in um points. So that was a 25% savings. I saved a dollar and 78 cents. And I only have 6,030 points left. I started out with 11,030. So, yeah. Eventually, I'll get my points back up. I ain't, ain't going to worry about it. I was kind of like, because I don't like to get low on anything. <laughs> but I was like, it's working out the way God, you know, because I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to have to testify <laughs> because, okay, you remember that video that I did about my son um, making a purchase to help me gain my points back up? Okay, so I know it was God telling me, skip this week, don't do it, you know, but I waited and waited and I was like, I get, it kept edging at me, edging at me. And I was like, well, I asked my son, I was like, don't you want to help me get these points up? So what happened was he bought, he needed some stuff anyway. So the stuff that I, that I got ended up being $18 and it ended up giving me a, getting me a lot of, like a huge, huge amount of points back for the products that I got because it was $5,000, 5, I mean, 5,000 points for this, 5,000 points for this set of things and 5,000 points for that. And then I think it was like the 12000 When you spend 40, you get 12000 So I was getting a transaction. So what ha happened was, um, he, the reason it took me so long to go ahead and do the deal because God was telling me, okay, so you need to, you know, just hold off on this, this um, coupon for a while, just, you know, fast from it. And I disobeyed. And so now... Um, my money real short, so I can't do like I would normally do. Like, so, um, that's when you don't listen to God, <laughs> you know, disobedience does not pay off. So, I know, you know, that was my, that was my sign to say, okay, well, I'm going to hold off on this, you know, a little bit longer, you know, because he told me last time and I disobeyed. Even though it was coming out of my son's pocket, it was still coming out of this household. So, yeah. And even though, you know, most a majority of the stuff that I get is to benefit him, I had already heard the voice saying, do not hold off. Don't do it. This just, just you know, because it's like it's becoming a, an addiction to coupon. I mean, it's like my therapy. But when God say don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm telling you, do not do it. Let it go. Let it go, honey. Because, honey, you, you, you'll you pay for it in the end. And so, with this stuff, I haven't heard it. Um, and then, plus, I had those, like I said, those extra bucks was expiring. And then, I, with the, the candy bars, I had a few of, um, I've been craving that chocolate, so I had a few um reward points to you so but but next time i don't know when i hear that voice when i hear that voice i'm gonna have to stay steadfast and movable and do what god told me not to do i mean don't do what god told me not to do if he say don't do it don't do it hold off you know because you know and i know it may sound crazy to you that some of you that don't understand you know but it's just 
you know, when, when he speaks, listen. <laughs> it's between me and him. And if he's ever spoken to you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Because that temptation, sometimes that, that it was just edging at me like, do it, do it. But God said no, and I did it anyway. So, yeah. So I learned from that. I learned. I learned. So, um, with that being said, guys, I'm going to let you guys go and listen to the voice of God when he tells you not to do something, when he tells you to refrain um, and just hold off and just wait on him, you know, to say, okay, go ahead and do what you got to do. Um, do not disobey. Listen to the voice of God and. You know, because then when like hard times or something comes up and then that money you already spent on something else that you could have saved to go towards something you need. But still, you know, at the same time, you could be coupon on those things that you need. Like some of that stuff I didn't really need. I was just trying to gain points. And the lesson was you can gain points anytime. You don't really just have to go spend money to gain points. So that was my lesson. So. Yeah, so I got what I need. So it's probably going to be a while um, before I just really, really try to like rank, rank up on points like I would like to. Um, but as far as the tissue products right here and getting that $6 book, I'm probably going to do that um, this weekend and on some Crest toothpaste because you, if you buy two of those, you get a $4 reward. So what I'm going to do is probably do that, those transactions, and, and just roll those um, unless God say not to, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just get what you need. Just get what you need. And like um, Chris the Maximizer says, make sure. If you don't need it, don't get it, you know. And I had got to the point where I was, in, in the beginning, when I first started couponing, I was getting stuff I didn't need because I was modeling all my um, couponing and things after other people's coupons, and I was getting stuff I didn't need. But then I learned, okay, let's just see what deals we can find on things that we actually need. So that's what I started doing. And um, sometimes I would, just to get a deal or get, yeah, get something on, sometimes I'll like splurge out and do get something that I don't need. Uh, um, or something that I can give to somebody or give to somebody um, that I don't need. But sometimes you have to hold off on that too, you know, um, especially when God speaks to you and say, okay, let's not do that this week. Let's not, let's wait. Um, let's hold off on this. Let's hold off on that. If he say, you know, stop, put a halt to that, make sure you do that. Because if you don't really need it, don't spend the money because, you know, then you, you might be put in a, a situation where, it's something that you need that you can't get because they don't have the coupons on it or they don't have, you don't have any points that you can use on it, you know, just stuff like that. So kind of be mindful of what you're spending your extra bucks on and how you're rolling your points. Make sure it's stuff that you need or that you can donate and bless somebody else with. Um, or, you know, if you're, if they're expiring and you want to, you know, just, Use it like I did today. Use it to get something to eat because it's, it's something that my son could actually use at, you know, eat on breaks at work. And then I did need some laundry, some fabric softener. I did need that. The chocolate and the soda, I didn't really need, but I'm craving it. <laughs> so, um, but I used my points. I only paid 45 cents for that. So I ain't complaining about that because the little points that I had, you know, and like I lost a whole lot. I only used five dollars in points so i got a long way to go to build it back up to where it was anyway so but yeah just be mindful of how you spend your extra bucks your um registry rewards and your points make sure you're rolling into the items that you actually need and something that's going to benefit you um in the long run if you're buying something that you know with the registry rewards that's going to reward you um uh, another register reward or points, you know, then do so. Um, whatever it is, make sure it's benefiting your household and or benefiting some kind of way. Um, just don't be wasteful of it. Don't waste it like I just wasted those. Well, I ain't going to say I wasted because I'm going to eat that chocolate. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna eat that chocolate. Y'all know I'm gonna eat that chocolate, right? Y'all know, y'all know. Anyway, know that God loves you. God, God loves you and me. God loves you and me. And I love you. Stay blessed. Stay prayed up. Stay up under the anointing. And stay couponing, y'all. But when God say, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>